I think, especially for kids who can't read yet, that's your only uh, window into what is what this book is about or what you're seeing in front of you. I mean, a friend is reading this to you, your parents are reading this to you, and um, you're just seeing the illustrations. You're just seeing the world um, purely visual while it's being read to you. And my favorite books are the ones that, you know, I just got lost in as a kid and that maybe was about things that were real, but, you know, that were very stylized and done in a whimsical way. Um, that's my favorite type of art is stuff that's not, you know, uh, realism, just, you know, seeing uh, an artist's um, specific take on something has, has, has always been special. So the, the best, I think the best books are the ones that you're able to just kind of get lost in. And um, specifically with this book, creating dialogue between parents and their kids. Um, you know, I kind of go through a range of conceptual work to stuff that's more pointed, that's kind of dealing directly with the story. And the hope was that some of the conceptual um, work was would create dialogue between um, parents and kids. And you know, what do you think this means? What does this mean? You know, what is you know Jesus saying here? What what is this? What is the book about? So um, more than just flipping through pages, I, I wanted I wanted the art to be you know talked about.